What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? This is Ring Mean. Welcome to another episode of Packages from Subscribers. The series I started up so I can show you guys out there some of the awesome trades that I get to make with a lot of you, as well as the random stuff you guys like to send. You never really have to. It's not what this is about. If you ever get that inclination to want to send me something, hit me up on Instagram, send me a message, and maybe we can work out a trade and you'll get something out of it. I love doing trades, obviously, as you'll see with some of these packages. But if you want to send something, I'm completely honored you would. I'm not going to stop you or decline it. P.O. Box information is in the description below if you ever wondered where it was. Uh, with that said, guys, this is just, as you can tell from the thumbnail, this is just insane. I know what, like, three of these packages are. The others, I have no idea. Sit back and relax. Let's open them up. Right, guys so before we start opening these packages like I always like to tell you guys out there um, I am a very forgetful person as a lot of you know from Instagram I'll wake up in the morning there'll be 20 or so messages and I, it's hard to keep up with everybody I try to respond to everybody as best as I can and if I'm very forgetful just forgive me that's just one of the problems I've always had throughout my life and uh, so if there ever is a trade or something that I'm just forgetful of or I, it's something you haven't heard back from me just send me another message and we'll get you going on with that. With that said, make sure too that we actually have a solid trade um, made before you send something. Don't just send something and be like, yeah, I'm gonna uh, you know, trade me this for it and go ahead and send it. Make sure we both agree on the actual trade. So not like, I don't think any of these boxes or anything like that. I don't have that issue. I just wanna say that in advance because this is just, an, the, oh my Lord. Y'all just like to play with my emotions. I think that's what this is. This is just insane. So let's start out with a package here. I don't know. I don't have no idea where to begin. Uh, all right, we'll just grab one because there, there's there's no rhyme or reason in any of this. So this one right here, I actually I picked this one up this morning, um, and this is what made me say, you know what? Go ahead, let's go ahead and knock this video out. Um, this is from Matt Schrader. Shredder. Hope it's Shredder. It'd be awesome. Uh, Schrader's cool too. Um, not a clue. Let's see what we got. Got my trusty little. Uh, butterfly knife right here that is completely dull because we burned through a lot of packages when it comes to like eBay Macari and then this oh my lord it dulls a knife really quick um, one thing I will say if you ever do want to send something try to include a note because it helps me remember if there is a trade uh, plus I really just love I love the notes I, I save everybody's you know it's it's a very heartwarming thing to hear about you know what you guys got to say and there is a note let's see what we got Found these Xbox demos. Thought you would enjoy it if you don't already had uh, don't already had them. Uh, exit for Exit 420 Shields. Mm, kind of worked that to where it's hard for me to shred. I bet you that's what it is. Shredder. Exit 420 Shredder might be his YouTube channel. Check them out. Uh, I love Xbox demos, as everybody knows. I let the cat out of the bag with that one. Uh, but my demo collection is <laughs> skyrocketed. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, these are in like big cases here. Oh yeah, these are the full size. Dem these are very cool right here. All right, check this out. These are in the, the actual jewel kit. I don't know, say jewel cases, the plastic cases themselves. The uh, expedition number four, two, and what is that? Like the original? These are awesome. I actually, I don't have any that are like this. Uh, these are ones that are definitely going to be displayed on the shelf i have all my other demos like typically a demo comes in like really slim they were in a magazine thank you for that man that's very awesome uh very cool all right let's see what we got here this is b beckbar maybe beckbar um everybody knows my pronunciation of words is not on point uh sometimes i get lucky though you know some of these some of these names are crazy um, I know screen names a lot better. Like if someone puts their screen name on here, I usually recognize that a lot, lot easier than anything else. All right, oh, there's a note. Let's check the note. I love notes. All right, let's see. There's two things in here. Let's start with the note. <laughs> y'all people just, y'all people kill me. Uh, what's going on, beautiful reading <laughs> from you? <today? laughs> That's good. That's that. <laughs> that's that's good. 
Big fan of the show. Been watching since your first episode. Love what you do and excited that you are doing it full time. Had a few items that I thought I'd send your way. Hopefully you don't have them. Keep up the excellent work and there's no... Uh, and here's to more subscribers and tons more likes. Truly yours. Brandon Beckvar. Okay. I, did, I think I may have got that right. P.S. The drawing was just me bored at work watching your videos. Hope you enjoyed. Oh my lord. We got a drawing. I think the first drawing of the show so far. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy, sh holy shit! I love this. This is just, this is just fantastic. Uh, and you got my damn balding ass head on there a little bit too. That's great. Look at this, guys. You can't make this up. This is phenomenal right here. This is gonna be hung up on the wall. This is just awesome. <laughs> He's holding a game where I'm holding a game, and it just says "shitty wee" on there. <laughs> That's great, man. That is, that is, that is truly awesome right there. Thank you for that. That is cool. <laughs> oh, Mr. Room Bean's gonna get a kick out of that. Oh Lord, what did we got here? You draw studio for the Wii, which I actually, I I think I have the attachments, but I may not have the game. Very cool. And then here is a good one right here, which actually I think I might have, but I'm always doing label upgrades. I always everybody does that with their collection; they just upgrade it over time. Fantastic Four, uh, which is everything here. <laughs> that picture got me cracking. Beautiful ring beam of YouTube. <laughs> That's good. Y'all, you people are insane. All right. Um, this, we'll do one that I know what it is. So I'm sure a lot of you remember from one of my vlog episodes. Uh, one of the people that I watched, Miss Tiffany, she was, she was like at 700 something subscribers. And this is when YouTube was getting crazy with their demonetization, as I found out. And, uh, she was just really trying and to get over a thousand views. So I gave her a good little shout out. She has an awesome channel. You know, if you got good content, I have no, no problem doing it at all. And, uh, we got her there like the next day. So that was awesome. So she sent me a message on Instagram and said, I'm sending you some broken stuff, which I love broken stuff. Cause I always got a chance to fix it. You didn't have to do that. I'm, I'm I think it's awesome that you did. Uh, but I don't mind doing things like that. That is, let's see. I can't remember what she said. I remember there was a PlayStation 4 controller, I think, that she talked about. I think she's out in Cal is it California. I'll show you her address. The marker didn't get it out. Uh, yeah, California. California's got some amazing game hunting, apparently. I would love to go out to California and do some game hunting. Now, from what I hear, though, there's a shit ton of competition. God mighty, what kind of crazy shit have you put in here? There is stuff all over. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Miss Tiffany. All right. So we got a uh, the Slim PS1, very cool. If this stuff is broken, obviously it's gonna make its way to the vlog episode and see if we can't get it cranked up again. We got a whole bunch of cords and kit. I don't remember you saying this. Oh yeah. This is a the Model 3 Sega Genesis and it is broken, missing some buttons, but you know, this is crazy. I don't have one of these. I've looked for one of these. I just, I never had one. I wanted it for the collection. Even broken. I'm, I think I'm going to have this for display. I don't know if there's any way of fixing that. I don't have the pieces to fix it. I feel that the actual tray in here is sliding around. I will open it up and fix that. That's very cool. Uh, here is the PlayStation 4 controller. She said it like wouldn't sync up or something. I'm not sure. I don't know much about modern stuff, uh, but maybe I can look up a quick fix. Uh, very good condition controller. Very awesome. Whoa, this is a good game right here. Oh, and there's some. Uh, there's a manual in here for Crash Bandicoot Warped. A manual for Mario Kart. Oh, you need to hold on to this stuff. You're going to find these things out in the wild, and it's great to have the stuff with it, but it's a Xbox game of Blitz the League. Very cool. Oh, Lord, we got... Oh, my God. We got two copies of Wii Sports in here. One with this in, in the... Oh, there it is. There's Wii Sports Resort. I'm sorry if I'm not showing you this stuff, guys. I'm just... She's... You sent some stuff. You didn't have to go crazy like this. Uh, we got a copy of Mario Brothers, a copy of Super... She said, she said this stuff's defective. Ooh, I can look in here and I can tell you those pins are just jacked. Uh, we'll get the... We'll, we'll fix this up. That'll be good for an episode. Then we got more power cables. Ooh, this is awesome. We got a GameCube uh, power power adapter. Hopefully that does work because I need those big time. It's one thing I love trading for is power adapters, NES, SNES, all that. Uh, oh, God, we got little handheld games in here. What do we got here? We got Power Quest. Never heard of that. Uh, Shadowgate. Cla These are games I don't have. Now, I do got Pac-Man. 
What are you doing? Oh, and look at this. There's not one or two, but damn four adapters for a PlayStation Slim, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I think you are just insane. And then a copy of Echo the Dolphin, a very awesome Sega Genesis. I didn't think you were sending all that. You didn't have to send anything. That's... Y'all notice with these episodes, I shake my head a lot. Not in like nothing bad. It's just I don't believe this stuff. It's crazy. Thank you for that. If you haven't checked her channel out, obviously, like I said, I do recommend it. She's new to the whole game hunting. So if you, if you are too, you can learn with her. Um, she does good. She makes a lot of live episodes. And they're good quality, so that's a good that's a good thing to check out. All right, let's open one here. I don't know what this one is. This one is from Stephen Reed. Uh, again, I don't know names that that well. Uh, I know screen names better, but I have had people send me something. They'll be like, "Hey, I'm the one that sent you that." And I'll be like, "Right on." All right, let's see here. These, these episodes make me so nervous. I never know what I'm getting myself into. What in the world do we got in here? There is a note which I like. I like a good note. Ring Bean, you're the man. We've chatted a few times, and here's the item we agreed to trade on. I noticed I said items we agreed and not presumed, as well as some extras, including the awesome bootlegs. I threw in just for you. Don't let the Intellivision label fool you. They took the trademark when it expired and have nothing to do with the real Intellivision. Uh, if that ain't some bootlegging son of a bitch's ways, I don't know what is. Also, from what I hear, the Power Joy might play Famicom games on top of the built-in bullshit games. You know it probably includes. Anyways, keep up the awesome content, buddy. P.S. I am working on a custom and hand-built for you, and I'll send it when it's finished. P.P.S. Leave a small space in the sh oh Lord in the shrine. Your friend Steve from Delaware. What did we work on a trade? Maybe if I look at this stuff, I'll remember. Uh, again, I can't remember anything. People hit me up on Instagram and they'll be like, we were doing this. I'll be like, oh yeah. Typically when a trade's set down, like once I have the item that we were trading on, then the next day I'll usually get it out. Um, I've learned my lesson actually. I have gotten burned one time. I just got a big heart, you know. Someone wanted to trade something from my eBay store. It was like some Converse or something. He said he had a Game Boy lot. It had a few games in there. One of the games that was going to make it worth it was like a Pokemon game. He didn't send it. Uh, he got a free pair of shoes, I guess. Never heard from him again. Uh, but it does happen. Steph, why is that name familiar? I suck at names. Um, let's see what we got in here. The Power Joy. I, look at this bootleg. Dear Lord. That's got that cartridge. I've seen that cartridge. I have that cartridge around here somewhere, I swear. All right. What the hell did we trade for? It hit me up on Instagram and remind me. I'm I, The fact that he said... Uh, that we agreed and I presume he knows that we, we've settled something. This one's funky looking. Look at this thing. God almighty. We got some bootlegs to do. I know I got some fans out there. The bootleg central. Oh no. Hold on. Holy shit. Now I know exactly. I know exactly what this is. Oh my God. I'm just terrible with, with names. I'm very good with the screen names. Now once I saw this, I know exactly what the, I'm sorry. I forgot. I, I... All right. So he sent me this to open up. Oh, excuse me. To open up. This is a sealed Lion King for the Game Gear. I got one sealed. These aren't that much. I just figured it'd be fun to open this thing up on camera and see what it's like to open up a seal. I actually typically don't really open up sealed games unless it's something I like desperately want to play and it's not that value. But I think that'll be cool to do. Uh, the Lion King sealed on Game Gear. And now this is some in insane stuff that I am very happy that we, we have worked on a trade here and it's for some SNES games. I got a lot of people always asking for SNES games. I got another person. Uh, who's in line for some SNES games. I don't come across of them as much as I'd like, but I think I do got a lot coming up, um, hopefully. So, God, I remember that now. I'm terrible with my memory. Oh, yeah, these are some these are some things that I def desperately needed. So we got Body Harvest for the N64, a game that I did not have. And then we got Rayman 2, another one that I did not have. Now, this item right here is truly special. I never have seen one of these out in the wild for whatever it just happens you know like i've seen things people will never get to see and i see them often it's just the way it works this is my very first game boy micro check that out and uh god almighty oh these things are smaller than i remember maybe i got these little hands i cannot wait and he has a charger he said he changed the battery out too i am so excited about having this finally in my collection thank you for that uh i i think i got two or three games already for them that I'm holding. I got like a little 
area in the game room where I keep all the trades that I have going with people, so I won't forget or get rid of them, which, you know, as much inventory as I go through, it can happen, so I try to keep everything over there. Thank you for that. Uh, I couldn't remember your name to save my life, but now I do. I can actually probably tell you the screen name. I'm not going to do it now or the, the username. All right, next package here. Uh, let's see. This is this is a trade right here. I can't remember what I traded on. I, I want to say it was like three NES games or something. You know, just lower end titles. Um, and he, this is when I, because I'm telling you, if I say something, you guys listen, it's crazy. I was looking for adapters and, and you know, all that you know, for, for the NES, GameCube, and all that. He hooked me up with a GameCube one. Got that mailed out. I hooked him up with a few common NES games. Good, easy trade. That's the way I like to do it. Uh, so thank you for that, Mr. Mr. Blanton, I believe. Could be wrong on that name. All right, this one. This is from, oh my God, I almost want to, I almost want to attempt the uh, pronunciation of the last name. Here we go. Christopher Cousinier. Oh my God, I probably butchered that all the hell. Um, I actually, I'm pretty sure he bought my Super Scope. Um, if you remember from one of my eBay Macari unboxings, I got a Super Scope. Um, and I needed some pieces out of it. I think I sold it to him for what I paid for it. I didn't you know, make anything off of him. Uh, let's see. What do you got here? It's a Wii game. I love the Wii. All right. What is this? Family. What is this? There is a note. I want to read the note first. I don't know what that game is. I don't think I have it. Ah. Uh. All right, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. That is a very damn good quote. <laughs> y'all y'all people kill me with this. Dear Sir Ring Bean. <laughs> First off, congrats on 8,000 subs. <laughs> yeah, they, we're about at 9,000. It's crazy how this channel is just going on the up and up. Um, I really enjoy the content. Makes my day every day when I see a post from you. I picked up a bundle of Wii and GameCube games today. And this was in there. And I know you love your crappy Wii games. I hope you don't have this one yet. Keep up the quality work. And just like you, I can't wait for garage sales to start back up. I just hit 222 games in my collection. Very nice. In eight months. All free from reselling doubles and selling games I won't play uh, that I won't play. Very nice, man. Hard to collect in a college dorm room. Have a great rest of your day and keep up the good work, Christopher. You know what? Very well said on a lot of those points. People don't understand. You don't have to have an insane amounts of money to, to have games. You just got to hustle and know what you're doing. There's nothing wrong with it. Congrats on that, man. I appreciate everything. And then we got, what is this? Family family Party 30 great games. And I, I'm i looking. And I honestly don't think I have this. Sorry, there's a lot of crappy games for that damn week. <laughs> there's another. <laughs> All right. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Um, all right, here we go. Here is, oh, where'd my blade go? God Almighty, if a gnome comes, I'll be defenseless. All right, this one is from Retro Lando. Now, actually, I know him because he's got a good YouTube channel. Uh, he's a younger, younger cat. But if you like my like eBay Macari videos, check him out. He does a very similar thing, and he gets good deals. And it's just cool to see the deals people get. Uh, Retro Lando, R E T R O L A N D O. See how I did you a little bit. But he does have a good channel. I've I've been subscribed to him for a while. It's he should have more subscribers than he does, but it's that damn YouTube algorithm stupid shit. Alright, oh we got us a little note. Picked up these recently, unsure if they work. Thought you would like them uh, more than me. Yeah, well, it's an it's an Xbox demo disc, so I guarantee I'm probably one of the very few people in this world that like them. Uh, this is the Rock Band for the 362, which is actually like right on the cusp of when these things were getting obsolete. Kind of a little bit more uncommon to find them, because uh, the 360 you had the internet, you could you had a hard drive. You could typically download demo, demos, but you could still get these. Uh, very cool. I actually don't have many of those. And then we got a whole a whole slew of demos. Here we go. You people, you know, demo giving away abilities here. Oh my god. I love re I love saving my bubble wrap. I use it. I reuse it. Don't ever throw it away. Keep it for when you sell stuff. Oh, we got some awesome ones here. I'll just run through them here real quick. That way we ain't got a crazy long video. Blings, that's a good game. I'm looking at them myself. These are cool. Soul Caliber 2. Very awesome. These came in a magazine. When they're this little slim style, you only got them in a mag, which is really cool. Rainbow Six 3. Project Gotham Racing 2, Elias, which I never played actually, Rally Sport 2, 
and uh, Siddiqui, something like that. Very awesome. Thank you, Retro Lando. Like I say, yeah, go check his channel out. I, I have no no problem supporting him. He's got a, he's got a good channel. Uh, all right, God Almighty. Try not to make this just drag on. I don't want y'all to get crazy on me. All right, this one is from... <laughs> I'm, I'm subscribed to this dude's YouTube channel, uh, YouTube channel too, but every time I see his name, I always say I think it's like J-Ho Games. I think he, I think he goes for Joe Games. It's J-H-O-E Games. Um, but every time I see that, I see it's J-Ho. I don't know why. Uh, but Joe, check him out. What we got in here? What is this? Oh, you bastard. Uh, <laughs> oh, y'all people. Here's a note in here. Oh, y'all are just... Y'all are just... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Dear Mr. Reambean, I found this while hunting last year, and I feel you can treat it better than I better than I can. Your Zelda display deserves this. Hopefully you do not have it. I don't remember seeing this inside that cabinet of epicness. If you already have this, uh, please feel free to give it away to a good home. Keep up the great videos, man. Your videos have taught me quite a bit about the ways of the shekel, and ever since my collection has been growing, I look forward to buying more items off of you at some point, and maybe make a few trades once I have something in the collection that you're looking for. Happy hunting, Joe. Uh, and he's got his YouTube, which is right here. If you can see, check him out. He does have a good channel. Uh, very well done with the editing. But I don't think it goes for Joe. <laughs> see, it's like J-Ho or something. I don't know. It could be. I can't, I can't remember him ever saying his name under, but he probably does. I just... Too damn crazy to listen. This, I do not have this. This is this is phenomenal. This is the Zelda, Legend of Zelda comic. Uh, this is very cool. That is going into the shrine. If I can goddamn fit it. Y'all done made me take my Atari porn out of there because this, I'm gonna, I'm about, once this video is done and uploading, best believe what I'm thumbing through. Thank you for that. That is very cool. Uh, all right. Um, Let's go through this. Oh, dear Lord, don't fall. This room's a disaster. Oh, my God. I got to clean it up. Ever since I did the uh, packages uh, or the Sunday video, it always gets messed. This is from Matthew Lentz. Very cool. Let's check it out. It feels all crazy in here. I don't know what it could be. So I always try to be careful opening up these packages. Oh, Lord, what is in here? There is a note. Thank, thank the Lord. All right, let's pull the note out. I think that's more special to have the note and then see what the hell it is. Hi, Mr. Reambean. I am sending you this awesome Zelda picture I bought for your Zelda collection. You got to killing me with the Zelda stuff. I'm going to have to get another shrine from you guys. You previously attempted to fix my... I do, I do remember this. Yeah, I tried to fix his Nomad. Uh, you probably remember from a vlog episode. And uh, actually, I don't know if I did it on the vlog. Maybe. I couldn't, though. It was, it was just past the point of being fixed. Um, I appreciate your honesty, and I enjoy watching your YouTube videos. I'm always hunting uh, down games and finding awesome deals. Enjoy this item for your collection, and it is thanks for you for taking your time to look at my Sega, and to thank you for taking time for looking at my Sega Nomad. Look forward to seeing more great uploads of your channel. Sincerely, Matthew Lentz, Retro Gamer Matt. So that might be his YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Retro Gamer Matt. Thank you, man. Uh, it doesn't, I mean... I tried. I mailed it back to him. I was like, man, I can't do it. I tried. It was it was just beyond it. Um, you didn't have to do this. I mean, I felt like, if anything, I owed you because I couldn't do anything about it. Uh, and I felt bad. Let's see what we got here. This is... You know, Zelda's always getting love with these damn episodes. That's for sure. I'll try to open this here without cutting myself in half. Oh, Lord. This thing looks fancy. Very well packaged. That's a good thing. Never trust the post office. Oh my god, that already looks freaking insane. And there's a bunch of delicious bubble wrap to reuse. Oh, now that is freaking gorgeous. Oh my god. Let's see if we can take these off. Here, we'll take those off in a minute. Look at how freaking amazing that is. That is just absolutely pimp from Twilight Princess. That is insane. Look, you got the wolf back up here. That is gorgeous. I don't know if I can feel I might have to take the stuff off the top of the shrine and put that near it, but that definitely deserves a spot. God almighty. Thank you for that, man. Uh, sorry again. I couldn't fix that nomad. I tried. All right. Let's see here. We got one more uh, random package here, and then I, the last one, I know what it is, and we'll kind of talk about it. 
This one is from Sean, and I covered up the last name because for whatever reason I do that sometimes. Um, now, I do remember slightly what's in here. Um, he just messaged me on Instagram. He's like, hey, I got this. Do you want them? Sure. It'll be a great display item. And then he said, well, there's goodies inside, I think. So, here. Yeah. Ain't no telling what we got in here. Oh, my Lord. Nice and... Oh, we got the peanuts in here. You know, apparently, from what I've heard, these packing peanuts are like just made of cornstarch, and I think you can eat them or something. Don't go out eating packing peanuts. I mean, kids nowadays are gulping down Tide Pods and whatnot. We had to damn eat that shit straight out of the box in my day. All right, let's see here. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, Lord. This is a good-looking box. I'm going to try to take this out without getting the stuff everywhere. Oh, yeah, this box is gorgeous. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see, make sure we're not getting crazy in here. All right. Oh, so check this box out, guys. The collector's edition, or the uh, the Zelda Wind Waker edition, I mean, Wii U box is phenomenal. That thing is beautiful with the Wind Waker on there, with the HD release. That is absolutely sexy. Thank you for that. I wanted that box for display, and now I have it. I think I have, I got the Mario Kart 8 Wii U box over here. I would much rather have this one. All right, let's see. There is a note. Mr. Reen Bean, I messaged you on Instagram and asked if you wanted this box for display. I put a couple of extras in there. Nothing major. I also put in some PSP game because I don't own a PSP. Hope you enjoy. Keep up the awesome videos, Sean. If you ever want to play World War II on Xbox, there is his screen. I actually, I'm not going to show that because, um, as I've learned, apparently you can get you can get eat up on Xbox if you ain't careful. So. If I ever see myself playing on there, I might just add you as a friend just because. Just All right, let's see. Oh, Lord, this is heavy. God almighty. Got to be careful with that box. That's a good-looking box. All right, try to... Dear Lord, what all kind of stuff did you put in here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all people some extras are you talking about nothing major are you freaking kidding me uh that is that is, that ain't even been opened before the guide to damn triforce heroes you got i'm telling you guys it's like the mess with my emotions get me crazy uh let's see here oh this is cool uh the player's guide pack for the nintendo 3ds what is that like a like a oh yeah it's like a little strategy guide for all four of those games very cool i didn't know they made that uh, we do got some PSP games in here. We got Sonic Rivals 2. Very cool. Oh, and he put little things in here like I always tell you guys to do. That way you don't, don't damage anything. It doesn't take any of your time. What is this? A skin? A Final Fantasy 15 skin? For the Xbox One? Or is that a 3? Yeah, that's the Xbox. I can't tell. Xbox, yeah. That's, that's freaking sweet. The Xbox One. Oh, it just looked weird from the top. That's pimp. I didn't know they had that. Nice. We got lanyards. We must work at GameStop or something, man. You get this many lanyards. We got a Destiny lanyard. Very cool. Oh, uh, let's see here. I love lanyards. I actually use a lanyard for my keys. Uh, we got... Oh, that's a that's a cool one right there. That's probably going to be one I'm going to switch to for the meantime. PUBG right there. Battle is a game I've been addicted to for the longest time now. That's, that was awesome. Uh, Call of Duty. Infinite Warfare. Very cool. And Watch Dogs, very awesome. Oh, damn, he did throw in some craziness in here. War, uh, Warhammer Squad Command, very awesome. Oh, this is a cool game. Mortal Kombat Unchained, very cool. And then, let's see, we got... And people are freaking crazy sometimes, understand that. Silent Hill Origins, <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, that is cool. Let's make sure we're not miss anything i always feel bad like I, I haven't had that oh i did oh yeah i did miss something this nintendo switch lanyard freaking amazing thank you for that man that is awesome that's very cool you would do that uh he just he just asked if i wanted he didn't want to trade or anything which i'm always down for um thank you for that that's some very cool stuff all right the final package and if i can find my knife we might be able to get to it if i don't have my knife oh my god i don't know what i did with it my mind is so forgetful um i'll tell you about it so this guy has sent packages many times before and he's actually responsible him and his wife are responsible for the giveaways that we got uh with my vlog episode because they hand make those majora's mass pens if you've watched my vlog episode you'll know what i'm talking about and he's like man i got this i'm gonna send it your way fix it up and do it for a giveaway and 
I tell him all the time, like, man, you have helped this channel so much with its growth. He's like, I ain't doing nothing, but he really is, and he's, he's an incredible person, him and his wife. So let me tell you, now this, if you remember an episode, my last episode of the uh, yard sale flea markets, and I talked about a giveaway being a special one coming up, this is going to be it. Do this giveaway. I don't want to be big-headed and say, well, when we hit 10,000, I'll do this giveaway. I think that's a good one, though. It, it might be a month away who knows but it'll give me time to get this ready and uh hopefully if we get there then this will be an option if not and i see it's not we'll do it early i think that'll probably be a good one though. Uh, of course he sends all sorts of weird stuff as well we got super slam dunk for the super nintendo sealed freaking crazy a little bit of terror here he did message me and say that the item that was sealed was like that that's you send some of the weirdest stuff man uh we got family party 90 great games party pack for the Wii. that's what i'm talking about uh we got an e wow that's actually really cool an ea sports n64 aftermarket controller i suppose the z button doesn't work we might be able to fix that that's just neat i didn't know they made that all right we got a zapper guess where we're getting at with this we got a controller and we got an NES with Mario Duck Hunt in there, of course. This is going to be the giveaway item right here. I'm going to fully refurb this thing, make it look great and play perfectly. But I'm going to be giving away a refurbished NES and I'm giving away all sorts of stuff. Now, I like to. I think it's awesome. I'm giving back to you awesome people out there who make all this happen because without y'all, you know, I see YouTubers who have no respect or love for their own subscribers they don't realize that you guys are what make this so special guys that's all i got that is just you guys always get me going crazy and i appreciate every every single one of you don't ever think you got to send something for me to keep this channel going i'll always be making this channel as long as i can um thank you all so much for your support and here's to many more awesome videos guys take care and enjoy the rest of your day